Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and staying safe during these coronavirus times. We're on day like 40 of this lockdown. Uh, hopefully it's over soon here, sometime next week. Um, but in this video, I want to go over my Hardware 3 retrofit experience with Tesla and then over 2012 11.1 update where now the car will stop at stoplights and stop signs if it's on autopilot or on cruise control. On another note, we should be almost done with this lockdown. Then I can finally get a haircut here at Great Clip. Should be opening next week. So for anyone that has a Tesla Model 3 after April of 2019, they do not have to go through this process. They already have hardware 3. So for months, I've been requesting a service appointment to get that retrofitted and they kept denying me saying I gotta wait for my VIN number to be called and then recently read online um, someone said you just go on the app request it go to other and basically type in hardware 3 upgrade and recently they've been approving a lot more model 3's uh, than normal um, so they approved mine and picked a date probably about two weeks later and the whole process was pretty smooth and easy with the COVID-19 going on. Pulled up, they texted me, I clicked the link that they sent me and that notifies them that I dropped the car off, put my key card in their Dropbox and they were out of Tesla loaners. So uh, I think it was Hertz. They came right to Tesla there and checked out the rental car. As soon as I left, I forgot, I put my coffee on the ground on the floor for some reason in the back seat and then text them right away and say can you put the coffee in a cup holder please so it doesn't tip over and they replied saying coffee's in the cup holder have a nice day so I mean it's the service there was uh, super helpful um, so I dropped the car off off at like 9 a.m. Mine ended up taking overnight and it was done the next day at noon. So the new update basically, it's saying this feature will slow the car for all detected traffic lights, including green, blinking yellow, and off lights. As your car approaches the intersection, your car will indicate the intention to slow down and then you either press your pedal or the gear stalk to continue. So let's enable it at the menu, go to autopilot. Traffic light and stop sign beta. So basically, it's saying pay attention at all times. It's a beta. It also says the maximum set speed limit is the speed limit on the road. So usually autopilot lets you go five miles an hour over the speed limit, but here it sounds like it's gonna keep you at the exact speed limit. So you're gonna stop right here, put autopilot on. It already says stopping for traffic, 300 feet. So, I mean, it, it read it right away. There it goes. Stops literally right at the line. So when it turns green, it's not gonna go. I need to either hit the gas or the stock and then it'll go. Another light up here, it's a green light. It's already picking it up 600 feet. Just turned yellow. Picked up the biker. It's got the turn arrow. But I also noticed, use three fingers. Let's see, it's green, I gotta hit the stock. We're good to go. bike lane over here so I'm gonna get over I think it was picking up the symbol on the bike lane should be one right there yep here comes another one right yep picks it up see another stoplight coming 600 feet 500 feet so I just tap the gas, continues on. So I mean, I'm surprised how far away it actually picks it up. I mean, it's you're a good distance away and it knows there's a light already coming. So I mean, it seems super responsive. 
in here you can see all the garbage cans appearing and we got the stop sign way down there let's see when it first catches it I'm just on cruise control not autopilot so right now about 600 feet I mean, it is pretty far. Like, I could even barely see the stop sign, and it's easily recognizing it. So we got another light coming up here. Let's see. So it's yellow now, and it just knows the light right now, and it's all the way up there. Something else that I noticed is there's an arrow in that far left light. And if you zoom in, use three fingers here and move along the map, it actually shows that that is an arrow and not just a solid red light. Tap the gas, continues on. another light just turned yellow just realized it so it's going to stop every time whether it's green yellow or red it only proceeds when you hit the pedal or the gear stalk so wait till it turns green and hit the gear stalk and it'll continue on Overall with the update, I mean, I was super impressed and we gotta remember it's just a beta, so it's not gonna be exactly perfect. Um, the main thing is it's, it's a continuous feedback loop. So all these actions that we're taking in our car, it's constantly getting sent to Tesla's engineers so they can evaluate and make the car even smarter.